Okay. Um, good day, everyone. Today I want to share about this. Is my second video. My first video, of course, that I have to show you I, how I activate this camera, right? Isn't it? Okay. So now I want to show how I'm using this camera connect to this economic MER. And after that, I connect to the HCP. Then I will show you how we doing on the license parts. And I will show how to uh, live view and also the how to play back and export the uh, the number plates. Okay, so come. I'm doing some demonstration over here. Okay, first of all, we have to know, okay, because camera I already done it for activation. So now I have to access to my MVR. This MVR is a C version, it's a consider as latest version of the this economic MVR. So if you have a you have to use a new unit lah for this version sir. Because for the C or the behind there, the C onwards, maybe they have a new MVR in front. I'm not so sure. Okay, so make sure using this MVR with the latest versions. Okay, we go into the in this E. I using Internet Explorer because I'm worried that some of the function is not running. It's better use Internet Explorer. So this MVR already activated. I access into it. Okay, first thing we have to do is connect to the connect the camera into this MVR. So go into the configuration parts. Then we go into the camera management. Then you press add. Okay, you know the IP, you key in the IP. If you don't know the IP, you can use the quick add also available. So we go into So the camera is showing offline and showing connecting at this moment. Okay, we refresh the page. Okay, it's done online already. But one thing we have to do is we check about the events. Okay, because some of the event you need to enable to run this. Uh, run this. If not, they will not send the data through from this uh, MPR camera into the uh, HCP. So that's why on the vehicle detection over here. You make sure you enable the enable vehicle detection. You save and make sure on the camera side. On the, no no on the vehicle vehicle conf configuration, we go into linkage session. You make sure notify seven center notify seven center. You have to take. If not, we will not send any data from this uh from this MVR into the HCP parts. Okay, so we save over here done the setting is everything done already over here so there are nothing to do on the mvr except what you want to do recording uh -huh. so we have to done the recordings over here you can do okay so it's nothing to do now we have to enter the hcp okay from the hcp parts as we know i didn't do any introduction on my hcp but i'm doing some of the part here they have a service manager web client and also a control clients Okay, so we take a look on the service manager first. Because you once you install the HCP, they have a service manager. You ensure that have a, all the service manager are running started. Okay, so it's done over, over here already. We go into the web client. Okay, because usually uh, HCP web client we are using for the configuration and everything. So once you already install, they will ask you to create your own passwords. Okay, once you create this, every, every of the setting is on the web client. Remember that. Okay, so we go into the username and password. Okay, so now this is the configuration part of the HCP. So we go into the this, go into, go into the resources management. Okay, resources management is the place where you add your other devices. So if you want to install, you install, you don't install, you it's okay. So, but pre I prefer, but okay, you see, I enable to detect my MPR, but this time I'm not adding a MPR camera into the HCP. So, I, had, I have to add this MVR. So, add into it, add to device list. Okay, they will, all the thing will be follow up, you just normal MVR. So, and your MVR password, just follow. Let's see that ready. 
okay so our level camera is one over here so at the same time because uh, they have a uh, area part I should have to show you some area part this is the NVR my new new at the NVR so you can see over here you can change the name change everything over here but now the done is done well one thing we have to ensure license because this camera zero one is the NVR camera so we have to go into maintenance and management then we have to take, click this license details okay on the license details what do you see the 1 over 32 because this is my license this is my trial license I think you can also download from the HIK Central Professional site you can uh, get this license for free but for they have a certain amount of day because like a uh, three months something like that okay so on the camera parts, you see they have a configuration on the AMPR camera. So we create the configuration on the my first camera. You see my first camera. I turn into the this AMPR side selector ready safe. Okay, done. The setting is done. Everything is done correctly already. So now we have to proof it. How the this thing? How to do? How is going to live view on how it going to the play? How we search the data come from if we detect any number plates, correct or not? So we go into a control client because the setting everything is on the web clients. So we want to do the all the search, all the live view is definitely on the MBR, on the web on the control clients. So control client is the key in the disk. Okay, uh never mind I find a day I talk about this HCP with HCP quite a lot of thing to talk. Okay, so now I want to prove it how the MPR goes. Okay, so this is my control clients. Okay, because my and my and my PC is under spec. Okay, then I still okay, able to run. So we go into the this part. We go into monitoring. Okay, so I turn on my monitoring. Okay, and we are over here. Okay, this is how the live view go through lah. So now I have to wait for a certain amount of time to let some of the trespassing vehicle. Okay, so I hope for this time they have come out. Oh. Um, Now I still will be here, so we wait for a certain amount of time. Okay, the car is coming, coming out this way. Okay, do you see they have a car already detected, and also have a pop up. So you see the blue VP three five eight nine already detected. So next time, if you want to see this vehicle, you can play back this number plates. Okay, so this is how the live view doing, sir. So now we're going to the searching part. Okay, how we're going to search the number plate out? So we go into the over here. They have a vehicle search. Okay, on the investigation parts. Okay, WEP three five eight nine. Okay, we go into the search part. Okay, on. Okay, so we can over. We can select the camera. Add over here, you can select the MVR, the camera. Okay, we can search it out for today. Today already detected two camera. Okay, this WUF. Okay, we double click. You can see they have a detected, and also they will show the number plate over here. 
and this is just now okay so this is how we able to say and also we can do uh, some recordings because it already into the MBR system uh, you can see the recording they will how the car go through something like that okay I think this is have to do a bit of pressure okay so this is how we play back and record so how are we going to export data easy you just click this export button and uh, you want to end the uh, export with the picture you save it okay you can find it on your download center you go going to a download center I going to your download center okay and you start downloading okay open the file okay they, they, they come out they have a number plate oh just now I have a one another car pass through okay this is how the images over here so this is how we able to get the data lah. okay I think this this video quite long so it takes time but hopes can help you all how we going to add the HCP go through the MVR and also go through the uh, uh, from the camera MVR and also the HCP I will next I will demonstrate how we going to do enable the uh, how we enable the lane function okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my channel I hope my third video will be launching soon okay thank you